Welcome to Balance Life Happy Life Weekly Gathering, where we offer solutions to the health challenges most people experience on a regular basis. We welcome you to discover our simple and vibrant way to live a more balanced and happy life. And every Tuesday, we have an appointment, 5.30 p.m. Pacific, 8.30 p.m. Eastern Time. And the topic of today is the what, the why, and the how to sleep your way to extraordinary health. Along with that, we want to emphasize prevention that can help us not only take care of our bodies in our health, but in the financial aspect too. And prevention is better than cure, of course. So today we will show you how we can do this. Through these five vital elements, we can target prevention. Air, water, sleep, nutrition, and natural energies. Niken is continually adding new products and technology to the wellness home. Be part of this important movement and start your Niken Wellness Home if you haven't done it yet. And as I said, today we will feature sleep, the what, the why, and the how to sleep your way to extraordinary health. Sleep is the best meditation by Dalai Lama. Important points. Sleeping poorly increases the risk of having poor mental health in the same way that a healthy diet and exercise can help to improve our mental health, so can sleep. And this is uh, according to the Mental Health Foundation of the UK. The importance and benefits of sleep for both mental and physical health should be highlighted in national and local public health campaigns, including in school and workplaces. Again, uh, this by the Mental Health Foundation by the UK. And for this gathering, Diamond Consultant, Sherry Densig. Sherry, welcome. Thank you, Ruben. It's delightful to be here. Love this topic. Love this topic. So I'm going to jump in and let me share the screen. I always have to, okay, there it is. Okay, wonderful. So thank you for setting me up on such a great introduction, Ruben. Um, sleep is where it's at. We're talking about throughout the Balanced Life, Happy Life, all about different aspects of how to create a really great environment to optimize our best health, our best living, our best um, you know, existence in, in and really exuding and feeling vibrant. Um, and sleep, I think, is truly at the foundation. And it's it's not only my opinion, it's, it's the, really the scientist that um, brought REM sleep and one of the earliest sleep researchers, um, Dr. William DeMent, made this really important um, statement that is upheld for about seven decades, saying that healthy sleep has been empirically proven to be the single most important determinant in predicting longevity, how long you will live and how well you will live. It's more important than diet, exercise, and even genetics, your hereditary factors. So, you know, we think in this country so much about getting healthy and where we start. We think about going on a diet. We think about an exercise program. Those are great things, but sleep is really at the foundation. And, you know, it's for a very simple reason. It's because where our body does about 90% of its recovery and restoration happens at night. So it's super important. So let's dig into this here. So the functions of sleep. So, you know, for a long time, scientists and doctors really didn't understand. And they still are, they're still not definitive reasons that they know about the reasons that we sleep. But we know, obviously, it's a time that our body rests. And yet we think we rest and we're quiet. Um, but actually, we're not. Our body is actually very active because, as I said, about 90% of the body's growth, restoration, it occurs during sleep. So there's a lot of reasons, a lot of that, that we need to sleep. And every, every living being needs sleep. It's not just us as humans. Oh, goodness. Hold on a minute. What did I just do? 
Hang on. I don't know what I just did, Ruben. Okay, sorry about that. I hit the wrong thing. Okay, so let's talk about some of the side effects if you don't sleep well. And there's a lot of things here that are, are you know, upsetting, disturbing. Um, as you said, from a mental health standpoint, it definitely affects your mood. Not getting sleep, you're more irritable. We all know that. We've all been around somebody that doesn't sleep well, and, you know, they're not the nicest person to be around. So, but it affects not just your mood, it affects how well you think. It affects how well your brain is functioning, whether you can latch on to things and remember, you know, memories don't get, uh, aren't your connectivity to, to stimuli doesn't um, work as well when you're, when you're not sleeping well, your um, motor coordination is affected. Um, you have, you know, symptoms similar to ADHD. So you have uh, symptoms of not being able to focus well, not being able to pay attention well. Um, one of the biggest things that I think really um, speaks is this impaired immune system. The fact that one night of not sleeping, sleeping less than seven hours affects your immune system by what I've, what I've read is at least 40%. So you wake up and you're already more susceptible to getting ill because of not getting a good night's sleep. Um, you have a higher risk of diabetes and lots and lots of things with um, it. It can affect your heart, um, your heart rate, your your blood pressure. Um, so it's there's just so many risk factors. We look at this, we think, why in the world don't we go to sleep and get more sleep? Um, this study here speaks to the impairment that comes with not getting good sleep. Um, there have been years where there have been more deaths and more serious accidents due to people driving sleepy than driving drunk. So we all know that, you know, you want to have somebody that is a, uh, you know, a, 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 a sober driver when you're at a party. But the same is true when you're getting in the car with people. If you're going on a road trip, you always want to have the person that's behind the wheel that has slept well. So that's a good question to ask because the, the, you can see the statistics here that there's a high percentage, over 50% of Americans admit that they've driven while they're tired. So what is, um, you know, how big is the problem? How, how you know, what, what can we can we um, evaluate as far as this problem? Well, it's it's affects all ages from teenagers all the way up to my age, actually 64, saying that that they rarely get enough sleep during the week. Um, we're getting less sleep, one to two hours less um, as an average for Americans than we did 50 years ago. And 60% are reporting having sleep problems almost every night. So it's a big problem. Glad that we're going to end this on a happy note with some solutions. So, so different things that might be affecting your sleep, disturbing your sleep. Well, some of these things we can't affect maybe with the solutions that we're going to offer with Niken. Genetics, you can't really do anything about that. If you have a job that uh, requires you to do shift work, that's kind of a difficulty. Um, medications can have an impact um, on sleep and maybe there's a medication that somebody needs to be on. But many of these other issues can be truly addressed. They're within our, our uh, ability, our choices of making different lifestyle choices that can help us to sleep better. Um, environmental issues, we're gonna talk about that, about creating a better environment for sleep. Reducing stress is a big, big factor that can help with you falling asleep and staying asleep. Um, discomfort in the body, if we can alle alleviate that, that can have a huge impact on how well we sleep. Um, I always like to show this slide when I'm doing a sleep presentation because people sometimes forget that as adults, we need seven to nine hours. And I have people that will come up and, and argue with me and say, well, I, I do fine on four or five hours of sleep. And the research shows that getting less than seven hours a night, maybe not right away, but over time, there's a very high chance of having some um, issues that are going to show up. There's risk factors that go up quite a bit. So pay attention to this. So what are the benefits of sleeping well? Well, it's the opposite of not sleeping well, right? So we, we our, our minds are working uh, much better. Our mood is much, much better. We feel more 
more energetic. We feel more clear headed. Um, we're more connected. We're more, we're more positive. Um, we are more creative and it affects your performance, whether it's mental performance of learning new things or recalling information, and also certainly your athletic and physical performance as well. Again, great quote here that I have to read. Sleep can definitely reduce levels of stress and helps you with, with reducing your blood pressure. So um, it is, it's also been connected to lowering cholesterol levels. So, um, you know, heart disease, I think is, it's either the number one or the number two cause of death in North America. And so to have something that is within our control to be able to sleep better and sleep longer and that that can be a significant role in preventing, preventing heart disease, I think is pretty darn important. So let's jump into some tips about sleeping better. Some sleep hygiene is sleep habits is what really what this means. So um, one of the habits is to get up and, and, you know, wake up, go to sleep and wake up every day about the same time, whether it's the weekend, whether you're on holiday to get in, in the habit of that. Lights out between 10 and 11 o'clock is the most optimal time to sleep. But if you're like me and you tend to be kind of a night owl, then at least make sure you get those seven hours of sleep. Finding your own personal amount of sleep that you need, because we're all a little different. So, but to pay attention to what your sleep debt is. In other words, how tired are you? If you are falling asleep when you sit still for a few minutes, you've got significant sleep debt. And it is something that you can catch up to a bit on the weekends, but not if you're if you're cutting your sleep hours significantly every night, it's going to be pretty impossible to catch up. So you got to look at prioritizing sleep. That's the next one. Make sleep a priority. Um, sleeping in a dark room. And we have we'll talk about that with the sleep products of how we can help you with that. So um, you want to block out sounds. You want to have a quiet env environment. Um, exercise is great. It's super helpful for your whole, you know, well-being, but not to do any kind of heavy exercise within three hours before bedtime. And same thing with eating and drinking. Don't eat things that are spicy or very rich. Don't drink alcohol within a few hours of going to bed. All of these things can make a difference in having better sleep habits. Um, it's getting starting to get warmer and um, sleeping in 65 degrees is what's considered optimal. So you want to be in a cool environment. You want your pillow to be slightly cooler than the rest of your body. Um, number 10, sleep on a supportive and comfortable mattress and mattress topper. And we'll get to that in just a minute. Some great, um, great uh, solutions that we offer. Create a bedtime uh, ritual, just like children, we all respond as adults with that too. So being able to quiet your mind, quiet the, the technology, slow that down, start a pattern so you have a, you have a way that your brain and your body are realizing it's time to slow down. Um, acupuncture puncture points are, um, acupressure points, excuse me, are really good. They're, that um, And if you are interested in those, I can send you a slide on that. Um, uh, essential oils are great um, and take all of the electronics if you can if you're having trouble sleeping you don't really want to be sleeping with the tv you want to get that out of the out of the bedroom so that you can have a, a wi-fi free space for sleeping so last quote that i wanted to just say and i love this dr dement says he's talking about that when you conquer your sleep debt when you're not tired all the time you feel like you're superhuman you feel you have this improved mental and physical capability that comes with, from being well rested so it's a it's a big thing so i hope that you will start prioritizing sleep in a way that maybe you haven't in the past so let's jump into what niken offers as solutions it is to me the real foundation of the wellness home for the for the very reason that sleep is so so critical so let's talk about the specific things that are sleep oriented um, this picture doesn't really do it justice. So if you're not familiar with these products, you want to get with the person that invited you so that you can see more of what the products are. But this first here in this corner here is the fit. It's nature rest fit. And it's a perfect name. Nature rest, meaning it's harnessing nature's energy. It's, uh, these are based on science and inspired by mother nature, 
all the technologies in these products. It's a fitted mattress topper, and it has a special material that keeps helps to keep our body temperature just right. It relaxes our body and it cocoons us in Mother Nature's energy. So it's very relaxing. As a massage therapist of over 30 years, I will tell you that sleep when you can recover, because that's really about what massage is, is about helping the body to recover. You sleep in this environment that you wake up and you feel like you have been massaged all night long, which is pretty awesome. There's a comforter. There's two different comforters. One is a lighter weight than the other, but I love the dreamy one myself. I call it, it's my dreamy comforter. It puts your body at the perfect temperature. So there's technology that helps to balance your temperature. And if you sleep with a partner, it helps balance their temperature. So you're both happy. My husband and I used to fight about, you know, the temperature because he cannot stand to be cold and I can't stand to be hot. And this comforter regulates us and it makes us both very happy. And it, you feel like you're, you're just wrapped up. It's like if you had a thing with your, with your blankie when you were a little child, you're going to get like that with this comforter because it just makes you feel really great and drop into deep sleep. Um, other technologies. So we have two different kinds of pillows. This Macura pillow is our newest pillow, and it has a little bit more structure to it, but they both have magnets in the technology and the pillow itself that helps to relax your neck, your head. Um, it's, it's supportive. You get to choose um, the amount of support. There's some flexibility in that. So check out the pillow. Um, and then there's a pillow case that has technology that, again, helps to cool your head and regulate your body temperature um, so that you sleep deeper. So this is this whole sleep system that, again, has been inspired by the science of sleep. Some additional products that fit in with our sleep system is, well, the sleep mask is fabulous. And it's not something you might get used to right away. It's, it's, it takes a minute to get used to it. But when you put the sleep mask on, it just calms your mind down. It blocks out the light. So this idea of sleeping in a dark room, well, it, it's, it's a no-brainer when you use the sleep mask. And the technology in it is very relaxing. Um, for me, it just like quiets my head. I just know it's time to, time to shut it all down and go to sleep. Um, the Kinko Ground is a grounding pad. It's connecting with Earth's energy, and that is also a great way to relax. You can put that right on your bed. It's got a super long cord, so it can fit from across the room. You plug it into the grounding prong. Um, and then the last one is our air system, the Kinko Air Purifier, which happens to be on a tremendous promotion this month through the end of this month. But that Kinko Air is a great sleep system product because the air that it produces, it creates negative ions that create that wonderful, crisp, relaxing air that we find in nature. And so it is a wonderful addition to um, having the different sleep products. So that is um, kind of the uh, uh, very quick rendition of what our sleep products are. You really have to experience it um, to know what, what they could do for you. And um, I tell you the, the biggest responses I've had from people that I've loaned these products to are people that I've loaned the products to them and they hand them back and they go, I'm not sure if I noticed anything. And then nine times out of 10, they call me within three days and they say, oh, I forgot that I had all these other things that were showing up. They got so comfortable on the, in the sleep environment that they forgot that they weren't sleeping this well all the time. And so then they call me back and they're going, I got to have these products. So um, it's experiencing it is really what you, what you should know. Okay, what we're going to do now is we're going to bring up Jeannie and she is going to share a story. Hi, Jeannie. Hi, Sherry. How are you? Good. Great. Good presentation. I love that. You know, um, being in the people business is really uh, requires a lot of patience and you need to be kind and loving and um, be present with people and all of that. And if I am not well rested, I don't have any of that going on. And so um, the first time I laid on the Nikan sleep system, um, cocooned myself in the comforter with the pillow and the mask and all of that, my body responded so beautifully. It, 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 it actually relaxed. I felt like I was melting into the mattress, into the topper. And so um, I, I, I just fell asleep gently. 
it was it was wonderful and um the next morning i i actually slept the seven and a half eight hours i'm typically sleep pretty much through the night anyway but the way i woke up was like i think of janice miller saying like a butterfly coming out of the cocoon it was just like oh so um i was well rested i was happy i was um just refreshed is a good word that i like to use and relationships are really important to me and so since that time over the years i wake up that way most every morning and very refreshed and ready to go rejuvenated and ready to talk to people mm -hmm. that's my story thank you Jeannie. You're welcome. yeah it's the the very thing that um i jumped in with with this um looking at the product line and looking at the business and it made all the difference in the world. I didn't quite believe it that I slept so much better the first night until I got a massage that I was trading with someone that I'd been trading with for years. And I said to her, you can't be working on me as deeply as you normally do because my body hurts so much every week when I got a massage. And she said, I'm doing the same thing I do, the same deep pressure I always work on you. And it was about five days that I noticed my body had just stopped. It just released all this tension. So, um, yeah, it is, it's an amazing, it is my favorite thing. So the last thing I just want to end with here is that self-care and we all, we all can use some more self-care, but this is passive self-care. So self-care equals sleep. So stop putting it on the back burner. Don't minimize it. Don't under underrate it. It is that important to take care of yourself for all the reasons that you've heard tonight to sleep. That's all I got tonight, Ruben. Uh, let me unmute myself. Thank you very much, uh, Sherry and Jeannie. Um, wonderful. So um, I love, by the way, my slip system, especially my Kenko Nature's feet. And uh, it, remember, it comes with a 10% off. And um, all the way to, to June the 30th, uh, you will get a free bottle of joint. So it's another way to actually... Uh, to know the line of nutritionals that we have top of the line. So thank you for everything. And we will see you next Tuesday. Goodbye, everyone. Have a good evening. Good night. Good Sleep night. well. Hey, by the way, I almost forgot. So remember next Tuesday, we have Platinum and Team Tai Chi 2023 Barb Satterwhite. Let me just do it really fast here. So uh, you don't want to miss this one. So we'll see you next Tuesday. Goodbye, everyone.